he then grabs me by the lapel and <laughs> yeah. goes, what did you just say? He then said, I could put you in that bin if I wanted to. And I said, I do not doubt that. <laughs> Today we are going to do another Would You Lie to Me episode. Can, can I just say, you know when we're struggling yeah. when you hear the word another in, no. that, in that uh, tone. No, uh, brand new feature? Another. <laughs> no, no. So I don't think we were struggling here. I think we saw the lovely Max Fosh and thought, this is a man who's going to have some stories that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we normally struggle with this, the would I lie to you thing, because me and Jack have known each other for over 10 years now. Yeah. So anything I say, he's already going to know. Yeah. Mm. So it makes it really hard. But... You're a man who looks like you've been through some shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> like numb. <laughs> so I, I'm very interested to hear that, and I'm sure the audience will be as well. We've had good reactions to the previous two of these we've done. I find them really fun. Yeah. I've got, I'm going to be honest. I do find them really fun. It's would you lie to me? Yeah. Have, our... you, have you had any contact from the actual creators of the original show? Because we know that Jack does have a bit of a history with taking <laughs> formats and just <laughs> putting his own spin on them. True. You were involved as well. It's just a coincidence. It's a coincidence. Yeah. 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 I was going to say maybe they can't copyright just telling lies, but then I didn't think you could sort of trademark and copyright sitting on a sofa reacting to TV shows, but they managed to do that. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> would you lie to me? The lies you won't know. Yeah, I've, 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 I've made them up. Jack's made them up. Jack is the Rob Bryden today. Yep. At fear of really poking it and saying, we are stealing your show. Um, Jack is our Rob Bryden. So if you could do the whole episode in a Welsh accent, that'd yeah. be great. Wheels, wheels. Well, welcome to Would I Lie to You? That was Indian. That quite nice. It, 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 it was okay. It was much better than I thought it was It was be. much better than yeah. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> if only we were playing in a caravan watching Ratatouille. They're that, the two words I... That was French at the end, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> Where's Ratatouille from? Ratatouille. Barry. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, so uh, there's a mixture of lies, truths. You know the game. We'll start with uh, Max. You can pick any number you want, Max. So I'm picking any one that I want, and, and I'm just reading it out. Yeah, and if it's a lie, you won't know what this is, but it's your job to convince the others that it's true. Oh, I'm nervous. I feel Max can say anything, and I'm going to think it's true. <laughs> I once got headbutted in the face... Because I disagreed with somebody's financial advice. <laughs> so it could be true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> already. All um, be true. Ha- ha- when was this? This was in 2016. Okay. In Newcastle upon Tyne. Uh, and was it someone who actually you were there to get financial advice from them, or was it just a random person giving you <laughs> it was, financial advice? It was advice? in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. No, it was in. Uh, it was not in a place where one would expect financial advice, and I was critiquing their financial <laughs> knowledge. Knowledge. There you go. Yeah. yeah there okay. you go. So, what was the advice that was offered? There was a gentleman who. <laughs> right. There was a gentleman who said that he earned twenty-five thousand pounds a year. He then showed me a watch and said, I spent £25,000 on this. I said, I don't think that's particularly sage financial decision. <laughs> and he headbutted me in the face. What? Why? Just why? Like, why? Why is he talking to you in the first place? He's trying to sell him a watch. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um... it wasn't in the bank. It was in the jewellers. <laughs> So why is he talking to you no, in the first place? I, it was a night out. It was a night out. It was a smoking area kind of uh, in night out. And I, me and my friends were playing a game. You know, do you remember the um, What Are Those segment? Yeah. yeah. Officer, I got one question for you. What are those? Oh. So we were a bit drunk. And so we were shouting and pointed at people's shoes, shouting, what are those? And everybody was really enjoying this particular section that me and my friend were doing um, except for this one uh, <laughs> watch wearing individual who then proceeded to tell me I'm not a student I earn 25 grand a year look at this watch it's worth 25 grand <laughs> I then said that's not particularly sage financial advice <laughs> and he headbutted me in the face I can see how the headbutts come about <laughs> <laughs> especially when Matt went uh, what is that when he my, showed him the watch my friend Mark once was in the toilets of a nightclub in Bedford when he went home from university stuff and he was talking to his friend about university and um, someone just said to him oh do you think you're 
think you're smart, do you? He goes, well, you know, I have to be to get to university. And they both hit him. Yeah. So I can see how this has come about. Yeah. yeah. I'm just so... I had a I'm co- guessing he was drunk, wasn't he? Because... I don't know. I, I find people who are willing... To... He Let's... was in Tup Tup in Newcastle upon Tyne. Do you know what the watch was? No. Okay. So I, I find if someone's willing to spend £25,000 on a watch, they are the type that want to be flashy. So I can't imagine he's going to go up to you and say, oh, by the way, I earn £25,000 a year. Oh, I disagree. I think it's always the people that don't have a lot of money, right? Well, £25,000 is a lot of money. Yeah, but, but like, no, but like, he wants to be flashy. So why also admit to how much he earns a year? Wouldn't you just go, this watch is twenty five grand? You I, don't need to mention. It yeah, was, but he's saying compared to a student, £25,000. He's, he's saying, I'm not a student. I earn twenty five grand a year. What, yes. what shoes I, I, was he wearing? I can't remember. But um, generally, my remark was just out of pure, like, shock. Like, I was quite intimidated at the time because I had just was playing around saying, what are those? And he took offence to that. And I was all, he had his guard up in a big way. And he said, I look at this watch. This is 25 grand. I earn 25 grand a year. And it was a, it was a purely instinctual reaction. Be like, that wasn't very sensible, was it? Mm. And he took umbrage of that. I have a question. Mm. Um, I don't know... Tup Tup? Tup Tup. I don't know, Tup Tup. Could you describe the venue and the, the sort of clientele? Yes, Tup Tup is a, a nightclub in Newcastle upon Tyne mm-hmm. in the northeast of the United Kingdom. It is popular with um, people uh, like Scotty T and Charlotte Crosby of that hit TV show, Geordie Shaw. Uh, and I was there because I was a 19 year old having a boogie. Okay, thank you. This headbutt, did it hurt you? It. <laughs> Uh, it was more of a shock. It was more of a shock, and it was like you know when you were at school and you got hit in the face by a, a football in the playground, and you just didn't see it coming. It just came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's just like what the hell has just happened? Um, and a friend of mine, <laughs> a friend of mine, just went, "That was bloody out of order." <laughs> <laughs> true, 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 yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, that sold it. You guys need to vote because obviously I, I I know the answer. I think this. it's true. Yeah, I think it's true. Max, before you reveal if it's um, true or false, can you read the statement again and then and then tell us the answer? I once got headbutted in the face because I disagreed with somebody's financial advice. That is, in fact, true. <laughs> Yay! Yes. Points all round. Points it's all the round. The only fight that I've ever got into, and <laughs> I love that you call it a fight as well. Yeah, yeah, well, hey. yeah. yeah the full story. Yeah, so we were shouting, "What yeah. are those?" He then grabs me by the lapel and <laughs> yeah. goes. What did you use a scouser? What did you just say? And I was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, I was just saying that you know it's a popular meme. And then he was like, um, He then said, I could put you in that bin if I wanted to. And I said, I do not doubt that. <laughs> Look at the state of you. Um, and then he was like, I earn 25 grand a year. Look at this wash, it's worth 25 grand. And I just went, That doesn't seem particularly sensible. Straight in the face. Wow. What well, was he a bur- burly? Man. He was, I mean, he was just, he was a man, so I couldn't take him. <laughs> <laughs> I wish when he said, I'll put you in them bins, you turned around and looked at him and went, what in those? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. I had about three in him and um, and mum was like, you're going to kill him. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then my brother was screaming, am I magic yet? Yeah. <laughs>